Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Conventicle bringing you guys a 2007 old school RuneScape guide for barrels meleeing. I would recommend having at least 80 in all combat stats, 50 in prayer, and a method of teleporting to Canifis, as you can see where I'm located right now, which is at the bank. For your gear, I would suggest using full Varix, uh, Fury or Glory, Fire Cape, Obsidian Cape, whatever you got. Addy gloves if you're like me and haven't done recipe for disaster or barrels gloves if you can and are not a noob like me. Dragon boots, berserker ring or a ring of life It's if it's your first couple of times maybe you're a noob at it so you don't want to risk it for the biscuit. So as you can see in my inventory we got a full uh, super set. We got super attack, super strength, super defense, a whip, rune defender and a special attack weapon. Then I got two prayer potions a spade do not ever forget your spade and I got a tell it to house and the rest is just lobsters if you're a lower level than me and have lower stats then I would suggest something like sharks for your food but I'm pretty good at this and I'm used to it so I'm able to use lobsters so right here I'm gonna be showing you guys the route I use to get to barrels this requires the quest nature spirit so as you can see I go west of the town and then I go through the gate here and there's gonna be ghasts in here that will turn your food into a pile of shit and uh, I would suggest saving your run for being in this swamp part and then there is this little spot where you can get through these weed things and then you just take the boat and then you're all good and you don't have to deal with the ghasts anymore do not forget to bring your shovel in your inventory because it really sucks when you go through the swamp and waste all of your run just to figure out that you can't do barrels because you don't have a shovel. So do not forget to bring your shovel. So as you can see, the first barrels uh, boss we are going to defeat is Darox. So you got to go to the top of the hill and then use your shovel on it and you're going to be down into the tomb. But before you do that, I would suggest using a super attack and super strength uh, potion that you have in your inventory. I wouldn't suggest using your super defense potion because you're going to be using prayer for the first three kills. So as you can see, got to pray melee for Darox. And I have um, chivalry. If you have some or other form of prayer like piety or whatever that you want to use and pray flick it then you can do that it helps with the kills a lot as you can see right here uh, this is actually a pretty slow kill I'm usually not killing this slow but just had a little bad luck off of the first kill a couple zeros in a row but uh, Varix is pretty important for this because you're able to hit through their really high defense so I've seen people use Guthans and stuff like that if you have really high stats then I guess that would work because you're gonna be saving food and stuff but I would suggest Varix for this and never take off your prey until you know he's completely dead because it's gonna really suck if he's red barred and then you take off your prayer and then he maxes you which is gonna be like a 60 which can be really really bad so next I'm gonna go all the way south and we're gonna be killing Carol so go to the top of the hill and then um, use your spade. I would suggest switching to your special attack weapon and using 50% of it for Kirill and then saving the rest for the next one you're going to be facing. So as you can see I spec twice and then I move to my whip to finish off the kill. I gotta pray range even though I have high range protection Carol will fucking rape you so you really want to pray range and get this kill over with quick because you have to use the prayer so that's why I um, flick with chivalry now you gotta go north one and go kill Aram so gotta use the rest of your special attack on him he will drain your stats so you wanna kill him as fast as you can if you are able to then I would suggest uh, saving all of your special attacks for Aram's because he is going to drain your stats which can be really bad and waste your super potion so you gotta really pray mage or you're gonna get fucked over and then as you can see I'm still pray flicking chivalry because I have enough prayer to do so and by now you probably have only used like one or two doses of your prayer and then do not eat uh, do not drink any more doses of your prayer because the next one we're gonna be killing is Varix and he, uh, you can't melee protect against him because he hits through your prayer because he also has Varix. 
So we're gonna go kill him, and before you do so, you wanna pot up with all of your pots, attack, strength, and defense, because he will rape you, and I would suggest if you have any prayer left, then you use it all on him by using something like chivalry, piety, or um, uh, steel skin, or whatever you wanna call it. I don't even remember what that's called, because I don't need it. Um, but he is a bitch. Sometimes he can hit you a lot, but other times you can get through him really fast. So I would suggest keeping your health above 50 because he can hit 20s on you all the time. And I would suggest the same for the rest of the barrels bosses now on because you're not going to be using prayer on them. You're just going to be relying on your food. If you have sharks and you're a low level, then don't forget to eat because he might be hitting you a decent amount of times. And same with the rest. But if you have the recommended stats that I use, then you probably won't have to do that. But I would suggest if you're a noob to this, bringing sharks rather than lobsters, but I don't need to because I got the stats and I'm used to it. He takes a while to finish off sometimes, but it's relatively easy if you got the stats. So next we're going to go south, and this one is going to be Torag. I would say he's the easiest one to kill. But he can take a while to kill because of his high defense and he might hit 20s on you but you shouldn't really have to worry about him i wouldn't suggest using your special attack on him like i'm doing here which is a bad idea because he has really high defense but with that varix you're going to be hitting through it pretty uh decently so as you can see i try to use my dagger but it fails so i wouldn't suggest wasting your special attack on him but I just did because I had the extra special attack anyways but it didn't work as you can see so uh, it takes me a while to finish him off because he's a tank sometimes but other times you can literally finish them off in like five seconds and another thing is do not leave the room until they are completely dead because you don't want to have to end up trying to kill them again because you didn't get the kill count but the last one we're gonna be killing is Guthin, so you gotta go east for this one, the only one you haven't gone down. And usually by now, you will have a message when you open the casket saying, do you wanna go down there? And do not go down there until you have killed all the bosses except for that specific one. And right here, I'm trying to kill Guthins. This was actually a really unfortunate, uh, kill for me because he kept healing on me a lot this usually never happens but it is possible so you really gotta save your food for guthans because he can just keep healing you and hitting you all the time this is pretty absurd right here how much he hits me but he is relatively easy to kill with your barracks he doesn't have as high defense as torags and stuff so if you have any special attack left, then I would suggest using it on Guthans before he heals like something like a 20 on you if you're really unlucky. And then once you kill him, go back to whatever uh, tomb you haven't gone into to kill the boss yet and go down into the cave. So as you can see right here, I gotta go down into the cave, say yes, I am fearless because you're not a fucking wimp, you didn't come here for nothing. And then once you climb down the ladder, you're only going to be able to go through one out of the four doors as you can see right there i just killed a crypt rat because they are the easiest thing to get the kill count on so right here as you can see i'm running through the tunnels going through that only door you can uh, i'm going to put a map up on the actual tunnels in the screen so you can check that out and basically you want to be able to find the room with the crypt rats in them because that is where you're going to be getting your kill count up. Uh, sometimes you are going to be encountering the um, boss or whatever Barrow's brother you haven't killed yet after you open a door. So be aware of that. They can pop out at any time after you open a door. And also sometimes they won't even come until you open the casket. But always be on the watch if you have somebody like Darox, Varix, uh, Carol or Arams as your brother but for Torags and Guthans you really don't need to worry about them because you don't really need any supersets in order to kill them or prayer potions. I would suggest getting your kill count to about around 20 or maybe higher if you just feel like AFKing there for a bit because they actually are decent XP if you're just AFKing or whatever 
and the reason why you do this is because it will give you a chance of getting more runes it doesn't help your chance of getting any barrels items I'm pretty sure but it helps you get more runes because probably only one out of 20 trips you do you're gonna be getting a barrels item and as you can see I found the door to the center room which is open you might have to go around a long way in order to find the door that you can enter to go into the center room but I'm all I'm also going to be showing the answers to all of the center door uh, puzzles on the screen and as you can see I tried to open the chest and the barrel's brother popped out so I gotta kill Guthans another time because this is on uh, a second trip as you can see and um, usually if you get somebody like Guthans or Torax you're not gonna need to waste a super set on just that one brother and then right after you kill him you can open the chest and get your loot and try to teleport out of there as fast as you can because the rocks from the ceiling are gonna start hitting you and just lower your HP so if you have something like house teleport runes or tab then just use that right after you get your loot but make sure you have all of your items picked up and you have an open inventory when you open the chest because you don't want to have it end up being where you open the chest and there is a broken Guthans spear on the ground because you don't have enough inventory space but you know make sure you got everything and then just teleport out there and then you can go back to a bank make sure you recharge your prayer before you go on your second trip and then you can just you know go back to the bank restock on your supplies and um, yeah that's pretty much it so I hope you guys did enjoy this guide put a good amount of time into making it so if you guys found it helpful then please leave a comment down below a thumbs up and maybe a favorite if you're gonna be that kind to me I just recently created this channel so if you guys could be nice enough then it would be great if you shared the video with friends or anybody else who is wondering how to do barrels melee and I'll see you guys later in my next video. Peace.